Alien 3 is the worst out of the Alien films. Yeah, I said that right. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I got to experience Alien 3. It's been years. It was directed by David Fincher. Now, this came out in 1992. What James Cameron cooked up in Aliens in 86, the follow-up took none of those ideas, excitement, none of that action, and just forgot all about it except uh, we're back with uh, Ellen Ripley, Sigourney Weaver's character, Newt, and this other dude that survived. Now, it turns out there was another crash. Luckily, for some odd reason, Ellen Ripley survived. She's now with another facility with a large group of men. Essentially, it's like a prison. Uh, in the future, set in the future, of course. There's not a lot going on in this movie. Uh, a lot of just dialogue, a lot of catch up, a lot of information that were fed. I think for me the only interesting thing about Alien 3 is the fact that there was a, a face hugger on board the spacecraft that Sigourney Weaver was in. I think that face hugger must have planted something in her to where she is now growing a xenomorph in her inside her body. A lot of side characters, but they are not interesting. They feel so forgettable. I like that, you know, uh, Sigourney Weaver decided to come back. It's really what got people to get into this movie. I think there was a lot of interference, I think, from studio heads. This should have been a hit, and yet we got this, you know, sloppy mess. Now, at the time, David Fincher, this was pre. pre uh, the game pre uh, seven, so this wasn't really the David Fincher where we know now. It feels lifeless. It feels dead almost. Once we get to scenes where we there is a xenomorph running around this facility, so opposite of what we we were introduced to an alien and aliens. This isn't the same a uh, same xenomorph. This is a very uninspiring, unexciting. Uh, CG xenomorph very cheap looking although there's one scene where a close-up shot we get with the xenomorph head uh, closing in on Ellen Ripley I think that's the best scenes in the movie if you ask me this movie is so sluggish you, you don't care for the pacing you don't care for this plot, whatever it is, as the movie uh, winds down, Ripley, she's in bad shape, she's fallen ill, she gathers these men to track down and hunt and kill this xenomorph. The film picks up in that way, in that sense, but it's not saying a whole lot overall. This feels very 90s for sure. I think for a lot of fans, movie fans, uh, fans of this franchise, but the most forgettable, the worst of the Alien movies, for sure. Unfortunately, my grade for Alien 3 is going to have to be an F. That's what I'm going to give it, an F. Guys, what are your thoughts on Alien 3? Have you experienced it? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in those comments below. Thank you so very much for watching. We've got more content very soon. Take care. Hey folks, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out in the long run. Dark Room Reviews, it's the place you should be subscribed to. Join the channel, it's free.